So if you're not quite there yet with your pen tool and you're maybe making too many anchors, not enough anchors, you're not getting your curves down, this video is gonna help you out. Welcome back designers, my name is Mike Pickett. I am a graphic designer with nearly 20 years in the industry. I've designed everything from logos to websites to corporate branding packages, brochures, business cards, I've done it all. Now I do a focus mainly on vector illustration and vector designs, including logos and branding. So in this video, if you didn't already guess it from the intro, we're gonna take a look at the Smooth tool. When I was first getting started in design, working with Illustrator and the Pen tool, the Smooth tool was my best friend. I could never get curves exactly right. I would use the Smooth tool to go in and kind of help my designs along. And before we hop in there, I gotta ask, subscribe to the channel, give me that thumbs up if you enjoy this video, or if you're learning something from this series. I'm linking to the rest of the series at the end of the video, so stick around, you can get to the whole playlist. All right, with that stuff out of the way, let's hop into Illustrator. I've got a logo sketch waiting there, and I'll show you how the Smooth tool can help polish things up for us. All right, so here we are in Illustrator. Now I've went ahead and I pulled a logo from one of my sketchbooks that we're gonna be using the Smooth tool on to smooth out some of these pen tool lines that we've created. So I, I deliberately made this pretty bad. I mean, it's chances are you're probably better with the pen tool than this. We can find the Smooth tool under our Shaper tool, which if you wanna see where it is in your menu, just hit Shift N and it'll highlight for you with that dark background. I can then click and hold on the Shaper tool and mouse down to Smooth Tool. So for the Smooth Tool, I wanna to make sure that I've got everything selected that we wanna work on, because if you don't have it selected, it's not going to do anything. I can sit here and click all day. It's not gonna help us smooth. Now, if I don't have it highlighted, I can hold down Command, so you get your Selection Tool, and just drag around it, and then your Smooth Tool is still active once you let go of Command. Control if you're on a PC. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start clicking and dragging around here. Now I should note if we double click on here, we do have some Smooth Tool options. So by double clicking on the Smooth Tool in the taskbar, you can adjust if it's gonna be accurate or if it's going to be smooth. With the Pen Tool, I find that they both work about the same. It's a little bit more work if you're down here on accurate trying to smooth this out, whereas this really comes into play when we're working with our brushes over the actual Pen Tool. So I'm gonna leave it about halfway, click OK, and then we're gonna, just gonna start dragging on top of this. And I'll show you the difference here. So right now we've got, like there's six, seven, eight. So I'm nine clicks in and I've still got a lot of work to do. So let's just back up here. That's about where we started. I'll just make sure, yeah. Okay, so make the visibility again and I'm gonna double click and we're gonna put this right up to smooth, just as far as it'll go. Hit okay again, command drag around, and now I'm gonna drag my Smooth tool. You see that, just two clicks in, there's three, four. Now we're starting to see some good progress. Cause I mean, a, a really good line, like a good curve, doesn't need all of these anchor points, right? So you'll see that as we start smoothing this, our anchor points, every once in a while we get an extra one, but it, it's getting less and less as we clean things up. So I mean, they should have called this the point cleaner tool other than the smooth tool, but I see why they went with smooth. Let's do that one. And now I'm just gonna click and hold and drag this one, just so I can kind of smooth that out a little bit. I don't wanna go quite too much. And then use my pen or my direct selection tool just to kind of nudge that in. And I think we're pretty good. We can still do a little bit more cleanup right in here, but I might even go in with my direct selection tool and kind of clean that up a little bit now. And then maybe just bump that up one more. I think that's too much. 24, there we go. All right, so that's it. You can see the Smooth tool really works well to help your designs along. Once you get used to the Pen tool, you're probably not gonna use this as often as you do now. But just getting started, it's a great way to just give it a little bit of polish on your designs. All right, designers, that's it for this one. I hope you understand the Smooth tool a little bit better than you maybe did before. It's a simple tool. Remember the slider, Fidelity, gives it a little more realistic, closer to what you've actually drawn. Smoother is gonna really smooth those lines out for you. All right, I need to get back to work now, so I'll see you in the next one. Now get out there and design something. I'm kinda liking the corner view. I don't know. I think I wanna stick to like, 
Am I talking with my hands too much? Is this annoying you? If you guys have ideas, if you're looking for something, hit me up in the comments.